know, life comes upon me and we go through things as human beings, you know, which is natural, everybody goes through them, you know, and so I, I was feeling like, you know, I was not a man, you know, and I, I found out that I was, you know, so, but I had to learn a different way to do things. And now, you know, I can travel across the United States or whatever, like when I go to another city, if they have uh, transit or mobility services, I call ahead and tell them, you know, that I'm with the modern mobility system here, and they hook me up and I'm able to transport really? whatever city I go in, yeah. you know, that has a yeah. transit system. Yeah. You know, so I had to educate myself, wow. and I learned that uh, where I go to, I had to find out that if there are bus stop and learn how to uh, properly prepare before I go somewhere, that when I go somewhere, I knew that if I get dropped off somewhere that I had to have some outlets or some support when I got to some places, like if I got dropped off by martyr or it's dark and I can't see or the place is closed, I learned that I had to have some contacts and some people to talk to while I was stuck in that place, you know, so they know where I'm at. And also when I, I had to have some extra money on me like Lyft or Uber, just in case, uh, martyr didn't show up. <laughs> you know, so I had to prepare myself and educate myself because I learned from y'all, right? And, you, and I think everyone in here that uh, that used the white cane is an ambassador, you know, to the uh, blind community, you know. And and you don't think so? I think so. You know, whatever experience that you have, you know, that's where you are at. You know, uh, we don't all get it in one day. I didn't, I didn't become blind uh, in one day. So the process that I'm going through for my independence, it leads me on this journey, this beautiful journey that I have to accept and I have to experience, you know, with an open mind. So I, I learned that, you know, coming in, and also I learned that with the, the veterans, you know, the Blind Veterans Association, that we were a group, we looked out for each other uh, all over the state of Georgia, that we needed somebody, we needed some help, that I can't, I can't do this by myself. It has to be a we. And I, I thank CBI and staff, and I thank you, Abby, for putting on this uh, celebration. And that, and and Miss uh, Miss Kennedy uh, for her diligence uh, for being here and standing with us and giving services to one of the largest uh, accessibility uh, rehab centers in the state of Georgia. So I learned that, you know, when I came here and I still had have room to grow. I ain't I ain't figured it out yet. I'm still growing. There's always new technology coming along, new things coming up every day. What I knew yesterday, it changed. It's different. It's something new today. So when I learned that to be more open minded about where I'm at and my independence, you know, uh, and when I started going to the book rehab, I was a chef, right, when I got here, and I really couldn't do that anymore. It was too traumatizing, right? So I changed my career at age 60, right? You know, I became a, a peer counselor, you know, through the Georgia Book Rehab Service, you know, and went back to work, and I keep my certification. You know, I'm a wellness coach also, you know, and I also, uh, I, I'm a self-defense coach also. You know. You know, it's not, we, we just, we human beings, you know, we know different than anybody else. So we do everything, you know, we're not limited. We're unlimited. 